I won't ask you why you want to be governor, because you have been there. The question is, why have you been making so many attempts, or say several attempts, to come back to that seat? Well, I made in the past one attempt. I did not contest in the 2004 or thereabout. I didn't contest at all. In fact, I didn't want to go back to governorship. When I was leaving, I made it very clear that I believe the governorship should go to other zones and that I far the time. But over the years, you see things not going well for the state. Uh, in the first instance, when I was in APC, it was a uh, National Assembly caucus who came to me and said, look, as it is, our party is absent on the streets. And our party then, they meant APC. Mm -hmm. It was during the Fayoshi yeah. regime. Mm -hmm. And that the only person who can bring it to the streets would be me. They are so upset in the street, and they said I should contest. And I said, no. I gave them an emphatic no. I said, I'm satisfied with what I'm doing as deputy national chairman, and I believe other people should do it. They came back again, and they continued to press, said they should let me pray about it. Eventually, I yielded. I yielded because I felt that if I was uh, saying that I will not contest and the party ends up in a disastrous election, that will be a disaster for me as Deputy National Chairman. And that uh, whatever I can put into getting the party to do well, I should. So I took it on and the rest is history. Um, that was the only That's one it. until now. This one, this attempt has taken me to two places, as you can see. Yeah. That's taken me to the PDP, it has taken me to the SDP. I went back, when I left APC, I went back to the PDP. I thought it was natural home for me. And uh, of course, there was also pressure, contest, contest, contest. I said, OK, I'll contest. And I thought we had had a democratic run. I accredited people. Unfortunately, I didn't get the votes that I accredited. I thought it was well, one of those things. Until you went on the platform of? On the platform of, of PDP. PDP. I thought it was one of those things until I later saw the video of what, you know, you wouldn't know what was going on, uh, sitting in one angle as a contestant and uh, an angle that was deliberately created so that you will know what was going on. Um, and also that it was a charade of some kind that people were voting and showing to a lot of the manor their votes. I said, was this not the final secret? And I now said, ah. And coupled with that, was the fact that the evening of that day, the APC uh, chipped in and the PDP chipped in, gathered at the government house to celebrate my exit. I said, ah, ah, ah this is the Your exit from PDP. My from exit the race. from the race. I said, oh, 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 because I've suspected that, that I'm the only one they are uncomfortable with. They thought they would monopolize power in Ekiti. They thought they would control everything in Ekiti. This is why this movement must not surprise anyone, that it is a people's movement. 
Because the people were tired. They know that. But these guys are smart. They know that if there are only two, if you choose one, you reject the other. If you reject one, you choose the other. Mm. And that has been happening. Uh, when uh, fire, fire me was being rejected in the first time, mm. the only option me. was fire she. It wasn't fire she that won. It was fire she, fire me that lost, flunked badly. Mm -hmm. When uh, they were now throwing away the fire uh, system, it wasn't fire me that won. It was that people were tired of fire shit. What they're saying, so, in essence, is that, is that the, the equity people are in the business of rejecting, not in the business of affirming. They will reject whatever they don't want. Rejection, and that is why, they had to now look for alternatives. So if you reject, and there is only one left, it means it's an automatic affirmation of the only one left. And uh, people were, you will not believe, people were so happy that I decided that I would go on using another platform. Why, was, why would they be happy? It's not as if they thought that when you were governor, that you, you did transformational things that they were looking back to? Ah, well, compared to <laughs> others, compared to others, they knew that I did much, much better. And uh, nobody will go there to perform magic. But I did much, much better than the others. And the records are there. The records are there, and, people, and that's what people are still talking about till tomorrow. Uh, education, my landmarks are there. Before I became governor, pupils were carrying desks and benches to school. You see them in the morning all carrying wooden furniture. That's the desk and benches they were using in school. Mm. Within three months, I said, when I, I started primary school in that terrain, and I never even knew when benches and the uh, uh, desk arrived at school. And I said, we must bring the good uh, time back. And we brought it back. And uh, within three months, nobody was carrying desk and benches to school. I introduced a lot of schemes into uh, education. And the results were also sparkling. Uh, school sat, we were ranging in the, in the 30s rank. We went to number eight, and this is number eight that everybody saw and knew that was pure, without any infringements. And the, we were, people were getting more confident in the system. Teachers were doing their jobs, and pupils were doing their learning. Uh, so they knew in my time. Well, Rafael Emil was known to have done very well in education too, because uh, he, also, he also modernized the computers, and I saw all of this with uh, com computerization, with also building up more schools, bringing, bringing even um, software uh, engineers so to bring um, you know, applications to schools and so on. We also did that. You, you, had, you did your own, but he did his own too. I am not going to criticize anybody. Mm. I'm not here to criticize anybody. Mm. I brought laptops to mm. secondary schools, and it was body secondary schools. And I said it very clearly. We are not going to give mm. lap individual laptops to mm. children who will lose them on their way home or on their way from school. Mm. And every child, SS1 had it. Mm. And then SS2 was preparing for it. We school uh, resumed uh, October and I left October. Mm. They were ready for the second wave. The reason I gave them laptops, individual laptops, and I made the school environment visa mm. uh, enabled. So you don't have to pay for data or anything. 
just have your laptop and use it anytime. Do whatever you like. When teachers came to me and they said, you haven't taught us anything. What are we going to teach this? I said, no, you are not to teach them. What friendship is why we brought it. We want the child, the average the child in secondary school to become a friend of the computer. So you don't teach friends what to say to one another. By now, over a decade of friendship, will probably have produced one or two apps that the world will buy of an Ikiti boy or girl mm. that will become worth for the owner. Mm. So, uh, we brought in computers. We were the first to do that, and it was individual. Individual at secondary school level. I must say, I, I'm not going to talk about whatever other people did because yeah. I am not privileged to be there to mm. see it mm. and how it affects uh, mm. the pupils. Well, I think you, 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 you said um, the PDP and APC people were, went to the State House to jubilate that you are out of the race. Are you saying that this is a contest of a gang up between two parties? You mean Oyebanji is not there to is not necessarily there to win, and Kolawole is not necessarily there to win, but they're just there to get uh, only out of the race. Some people will say maybe you're just being paranoid. No, I'm not paranoid. The people of Ikiti know I'm not paranoid. Why will I be paranoid? Why will I be Now, paranoid? do you have the structure? Because, you know, we've had a PDP there for years. You were PDP before you became... In fact, you were... AC before you became PDP to become ACN to PDP now SDP you've run the full gamut but you know too that PDP has a structure what they mean by structure is that you know many Nigerians don't understand what it means it really means that you have people in key areas that have people who can deliver the goods in various strategic parts of the state, and that ACN also has it. SDP is just a baby. I'm happy that when you are defining structure, yeah. you mentioned people. Yes. In democracy, structure mm. means people. Yeah. Where there are people, the structure is there. And I'm talking about a formation that is built family on people. Go and check. Virtually all the uh, polls that we have seen mm. has given it to us. We are supposed to be the newest on the block. They have given it to us. Well, yeah. who, 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 who ran these polls? Are you sure these polls are okay? Some of them are social media polls, and we have seen that social media does not really tell us the story on the ground. There is one... In one of the contests, in one of the primary contests, you know, social media gave it to one candidate and, uh, and the election gave it to another candidate. But some people may say, well, maybe it's not social media. Maybe it was manipulation, as you will say. But, yeah, well, but that has been the story. Well, uh, there's the NY polls, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the most reputable that mm -hmm. you can get in this environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the, the NY, uh, NY polls, mm -hmm said we're running neck to neck then. Neck and neck with who? With the uh, APC. But even the neck and neck is no longer neck and neck. I know that if we were running neck and neck then, it means we can as well say we are coasting home because you see, the, the way this system is arranged is such that whoever has been there longer mm. can only lose people. Whoever is there newly can only mm. gain people. And that's what happens. This is... You, 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 are, you, are, you, are, you are showing confidence now, but you have already alleged that, that uh, ACN and Governor Fayemi are using incumbency factors in a number of ways. One, one of them was the payment of, uh, of uh, salaries to political appointees, whereas you said... Those people are supposed to get the pay who are working in the civil service and so on, 
I have not been getting it. No, I Second, didn't say that. I can't remember. Your, 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 your people were we alleged people it. Say that yes. I always want everybody yeah. that works to be paid. Yes. That's my position. Mm. Why would you keep people in employment without paying them? It is not right. And it is criminal government. When you put people in employment and you are not paying them. As at when deal. So I will always want people to be paid as a twin deal. It doesn't matter to me what people try to use their incumbency to do. You also because worried what you, you came out and made statement. If you're not worried, your people made statement saying that, you know, that uh, they are trying to use uh, the infrastructure of transportation to manipulate the Yeah, elections. infrastructure of transportation. Yes. We saw that drivers were drivers union people yes. were being forced to take uh, stickers mm. it is they mm. to the extent that we had that people were hostile to them mm. at some loading base yes outside the state as far as i'm concerned i don't first i don't think it is right that they should be forced to take uh, uh, posters mm. of any of the candidates unless they voluntarily choose to do. But all that don't matter to me because it is the people. Don't let us forget. It is the people. The more you do some of these so-called incubacy things, the more you anger the people. Are you talking from your own experience because people said that you, uh, uh, people said that you you used uh, forces of well of the party to get yourself into office, and uh, that is why you didn't f fulfill your full term. And um, Fire Me had to take over. And then there was also stories of violence, uh, do and uh, uh, the story of Mr. Momo, or uh, Dr. Momo, who was stripped naked in uh, in your hometown. And uh, the women protesting naked. You know all those stories as well. Let me tell you. Yes. Let me tell you. Yeah. Let me tell you. You have only one, one indices to show that all those were propaganda of lies that had no basis. No criminal is ever loved. No criminal is ever loved. A criminal can be feared, but they are never loved. If a man is revered more than a decade after, mm. it means he is genuinely loved. He is not feared. And fear is out of it. Love is in place. So that will tell you that all they were saying were just lies. Were just lies. Propaganda. And some of them today, Ekiti people know the truth. They know that I won elections back to back, twice, without any blemish. Well, the courts... Yeah, the that. courts are another thing. The courts are not... Look, the courts are either about technicalities or they are about evidence. Yes. Or both. Or both. The, the courts did not say that... In the first instance, the courts did not say that I did anything infringing. They said the election uh, accreditation sheets were ticked in red. Yes. And ticked in red is not my problem. I didn't supply the red pens. Your, 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 the, the alleged that your people did. No, no, my people could not have supplied. You see, this, <laughs> are, this is the work of propaganda, my brother. My people could not have supplied. I, I wish my people supplied and made some money. So who did it? Uh, the contractors of INEC supplied the red pens to INEC, the red bios. They supplied them to INEC. Interesting that um, when uh, Fire Me was... Uh, in office as governor. Somehow, both of you had a good relationship. You even were on his side when he was seeking re-election. Re oh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, can you tell me, can you track your relationship with 
uh, fire me because it has been like uh, uh, we, are, we are embracing today, tomorrow we are on the other side. No, like, no, would, like now, you are not on, this, on the same page. The new PDP was there at the inception as one of the founding parties of the APC. And I was there, so it means we are, we are together. And me, Olusha Goni, anywhere I am, I work diligently. My diligence should never be in doubt anywhere I am. If I'm not going to be there, I will say I'm not going to be there. So I was there, and I worked diligently. And Kyle there and everybody knows that I work diligently. Of course, the party now made me deputy national chairman, and I will still say I'm very grateful to Ashuaju and Babakonde because they were the ones who nominated me. I didn't print a single poster. Mm. And I try to justify that confidence by working extra hard to ensure that I make my contributions to the APC. And it's there for everybody to see. If anybody wants to challenge, they can. And so that is the basis of what you see. Uh, yes, when we are together, we are together. When we are together, I fought on his side. Mm. I fought not for my own benefits. When the fighting was for his benefits, I fought. And there are sensational stories I don't have to tell about the extent I went to fight for him. So, it is not personal, but where we are, we're fighting for the cause. Yeah, we fight for the cause that we believe in. Mm. What of fire share? Because you also moved it. You moved to his party. Yeah, fire share. <laughs> whenever circumstances bring us together, we work together. And I, I don't trade in sensations. I don't trade in sensations. Now, what is, what is wrong with Nigerian politics that you can just move from one place to the other and feel at home? You know, you've, you've gone, you run the whole gamut, as I said earlier. You've been a, a CN, a, a PDP, APC, SDP. Maybe if there's another party now, they can, if you want labor, they can see and embrace you. It looks like our parties have no core. Take the political parties as they are now. I, the joke I crack is that it's not more than a relationship at the Premier League, Premier League uh, situation. <laughs> where you wear a jersey today and you find yourself playing against the party you yeah, play. When you, when, you, when you wear the jersey, when they give you the jersey, you go to the town yeah. and you say you always wanted to play for this team. That is the best team. <laughs> Then they give you money again and they go to another team. I say, oh, in fact, this is the real thing. I say, you guys will say, he go all of it, you know? Yeah, but a, right now, where we are, where we are, the level at which we are, uh, it's just a little higher than that. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we are not yet in the iron cast mood. We hope. Our democracy will get there, but it is not there. And reality is what we have to live with. And so that's the, the reality. So democracy is more about persons than about ideas or about systems. It and is about ideas, it is about systems, as well as it is about persons. The <laughs> Kitty people know what they want. Yeah. And if you are not giving them, you are not giving them, and they don't want to keep quiet. They must be heard. And democracy everywhere means that people have to be heard. And that's what they are doing. And that is what I'm riding on. I can tell you, yes, we are new. Yes, in the eyes of some people, they may believe we don't have any structure or whatever. But we are on top because the people are the ones running this deal. So you think you are going to win? By God's grace, we are going to win. We are on the, we are on the road to success. Yeah. All right, thank you very much for spending your time to, to talk about your candidacy 
and the politics of equity. Thank it's you very much. Pleasure.